Hi guys, Noah here. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while. I've just been busy, so I couldn't really upload any videos or make any. But um, um, I'm gonna try to get back up on YouTube. But um, today I'm gonna show you to make it uh, show you a tutorial on how to uh, make a setup axi for your Visual Basic install program. So if you make a program from Visual Basic, then you have a uh, you can make a setup axi to put with the program, so it'll install the program on any computer. Because if you just go to build and publish uh, the program it's not going to work on any other computer unless they have Visual Studio or Visual Basic or Framework but um hopefully you guys can understand me um understand what I'm saying um sometimes I make things so complicated and mixed up but um um you'll see as the tutorial goes along just follow what I do and then you should be fine but um just go to Visual Basic or Visual Studio I do not know if this process works on C++ or C Sharp, but um, I'll probably try that in another tutorial, and if it does, i just uh, make a tutorial on that. It'll probably be the same as this one, but oh well. You want to go to New Project. It'll This will be automatically Windows Application 1, but you can name it to something else. But I'm just going to leave it as Windows Application 1 because this is just a test. But, um... If you save it and you have all, if you already have a Windows Application 1 in the Projects folder of Visual Studio, then this isn't going to be Windows Application 1, it's going to be Windows Application 2, probably, if there's already a Windows Application 1 in that directory. But I'm just going to click OK. Alright. Um... Okay, you want to go to you want to go up here and go to save all. Mine is going to be Windows application 14 because there's already a I already had one two and then I went up to 13 because I had to record this tutorial, but it's going to be Windows application 14 and then you want to click save or whatever. It's going to be Windows application or uh, whatever you named your product. But uh, before you start to do the rest of the process, you want to go to debug because it's not going to work if you don't go to debug because the application is not going to pop up in the folder but I hope I'm not being too confusing but uh, I might be but if you, if I am just drop me a comment below and I'll try to redo the tutorial It'll make it better but you can see I just debugged the program you know then you just want to click exit and then you would probably want to you want to go up you want to get out of Visual Studio so you just click exit Unfortunately, it's not really. It's being a butt right now. But just give it a second. Sorry about that, guys. I guess this is. I guess uh, Camtasia is. Camtasia is just making my computer slow. But okay. So if you, if you exit out of Visual Studio, you want to go to My Documents, and then you want to go to. Then you want to search up Visual Studio 2010, or just browse for the folder. But I'm just going to go ahead and type it in because I have a lot of stuff on my computer. I'm not going to just go ahead and waste time and search for it on my own. You want to go to Visual Studio 2010 and then you want to go to Projects. You want to go to the one you saved as uh, your program. Mine was Windows Application 14. You want to go there. Then you want to go to the Windows Application Directory, directory folder. Then you want to go to Bin and then you want to go to be, go to Debug. Windows application 14 you want to go to the you want to this is the one you want to use for the process um, it's going to be application but you don't want to use Windows application 14 dot vs host because uh, it may say application but v dot vs host means it's more than just an application because if I click on it it's not going to run anything so, but, but if I click on the application that says Windows application 14 and that's it it's going to run something but you want to go back and you want to drag the debug folder to your to your to your desktop. Then you just want to open up Install Creator Pro. You're gonna to go to Next, and this is where you have to select the debug folder because this is where you have your application files stored. So just go to Browse, go to Desktop, and then just uh, debug should be down here. Go to OK, and then go to Next. I'm just gonna name this YouTube test. You name it, whatever you want. You can also uh, sell this on eBay and just see if people's gonna buy it, or you can just sell it around your neighborhood or whatever. But I'm just gonna name this YouTube test. 
Um, let me go back and show you guys a preview. This will usually be a default icon. So, there, this ends internet software uh, picture will not be here. It'll be another one. But I just changed my default um, icon over here to my uh, program, to my uh, company. Because this is what I do, internet software. But, um, yeah. But there'll be a no different icon there. But I'm gonna name that YouTube test. I'm not gonna do a uh, uh, product code because uh, that's just if you want people to buy it and you want them to enter product code so nobody can steal the application or try to do it for free. You want to try to do something really hard if you do do that so they can't just get the app, so they can't just get the code for free. And all you hackers out there, you, uh, just all you hackers out there, you're probably gonna wind up getting it anyway. But if you just want to do that, just go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to change anything in this section. X section, I'm just going to go to next. You can select full screen, small, or there won't be a window there. It'll just install it automatically on its own without there being a window there. There'll probably just be a little box pop up just saying installing, and then just that's about it. But I'm just going to go to small. And then I'm going to. This is what it's going to look like. As in small, if you get a full screen, that's what it's going to look like in full screen. Then if you go here, there's no preview because that just uh, installs automatically. But I'm just going to go to small and go to next. Um, I'm not going to change anything here. I'm not going to enter a license agreement or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and just go to that. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to go ahead and just go to next. And this is where you select the icon if you want it to install on the desktop. But I would select the icon even if you don't want it to install on the desktop anyway. Um, but I'm just going to go to browse and it's going to automatically point to the debug folder. You want to go to Windows Application 14 or whatever your file name is and you want to make sure that says application on it. Um, Windows Application 14.vh host uh, um, um, has application on it but don't uh, use it because if, you, if it installs this on your desktop and you try to run it it's not going to work but you just want to go to Windows Application 14 this will usually have an icon on it if you put a default icon on it but um, I didn't so it's just going to have a default icon on there for me so I'm just going to click on uh, Windows Application 14 and go to open and then I'm just going to name the icon I'm just going to name this test and add desktop shortcut whenever it installs it will add a shortcut to your desktop then go to next, 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 and then finish. I'm just going to go ahead and select a place to save the uh, program or the application installer. I'm just going to name it setup and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save and it's going to build the program or setup axi. I'm going to click out of here, save changes to install. I'm going to go ahead and delete the debug folder because there's really no need of you needing that anymore. You want to click on setup twice. It'll run as an administrator automatically if that uh, um, shield is there. But just click yes if that does happen, and it has everything on here. Just click next. Now this will run on any computer if you install it this time. So it's not going to uh, say you have to have framework, or it's not going to work because Visual Basic isn't installed if you try to publish it. But uh, this is easy. This is easy stuff to do it with. So uh, yeah. So you just want to quick quick start because it's going to install the application. It goes a, it installs the application and puts a shortcut on the uh, desktop. But after it installs the application, you just want to click exit, and uh, you should go to my computer and then go to uh, your C drive and uh, go to. I don't know what this is going to be in. It might be times 86. It probably is because I haven't done 64 bit because I don't know how to do that just yet but um, it'll probably be down here um, let me just see okay it's probably in uh, my program files for 64 bit I'm just gonna see if it is it might be but I'm not really all that sure Okay, we just it's in it's in one of the program files. So you just have to check, but whenever you click on the program, it should run it. 
it gets all of its stuff from uh, program files but hopefully you guys like this tutorial and uh, rate comment and subscribe and thanks